Hey guys, Pen1979 here. Uh, just finished char charging the Golabs R300, uh, and now I am gonna do a capacity test using 12 volt, uh, using my little adapter that I, uh, little uh, tester that I received from Banggood. So they had a sale on this, and I decided to pick it up. So we'll see using the 12 volt uh, plug, so that that way there won't be any losses. Uh, compared to the using the AC inverter and we'll see the total capacity discharge on this uh, little bad boy so uh, guys the last time I did this using the AC I had a about 250 watt hour so this is supposed to be 299 now with the 12 volt we will see if we get close to that so uh, if I get to like 280, uh, 290 I'll be happy uh, you know, it's not 10 amp hour that's going to do anything, but although I would like to see the manufacturer's claim, so I'm going to plug in my little 12 volt little tester here. Click, welcome. So, guys, I'll show you guys the tester itself. Zoom in there, do some focusing. So, right now, what we want to see is the third one down called watt hour. So the uh not the first one on the right side so on the right side you get watts you get amps you get watt hours so we're looking for watt hours so this thing is reset but just in case all right so this thing is already reset so i don't need to do anything else so right now i'm just gonna click plug that in show to you guys that it is gonna go in and be useful so click i am Powering on the DC. I am plugging this puppy in. Click. And now I'm going to ramp it up. So I'm going to show you guys the process. So I'm going to ramp up the amps here. So turning that. And I'm going to ramp this up until I get close to 100 watts. Let's be around 7 amps. click click all right so 7.43 that's about 100 hemp so if we look here so 102 uh, watts that we're using using 7 point something amps here so i am just gonna change the look of this so you got time you get and so we're looking now at here so capacity uh we're looking at watt hours so how many watt hours so you get the end right there that's going to show you so you get the temperature you get everything else current amps uh you know i'm pulling 7.58 amps close to 800 watts right there you guys could see that whoops right there 100 watts so I'm gonna let that run guys at this uh, at this amperage right there let me focus that so I'm gonna let that run off right there and we will see uh, how long it takes and how many now my fan just started so it's gonna cool it off so it's got the little heat sink that's heating up the element so we're at 2 amp hour right now of testing so I'm gonna let that run for a couple of hours so it should be three or four hours about at this amperage so i'm gonna let that run and i'll come back and show you guys the results so hopefully this will be close to uh, a capacity of uh 299 or 290 uh watt hours what i'm hoping for guys so i'm gonna cross my finger and we're, we're gonna see what it is so all right guys see you back in a few all right guys and we are back so the test has stopped the protection has come in so you guys can see that there's four percent left uh the units stopped working i can't draw any more juice so i'm going to show you guys that real quick here click and i'll zoom in click so 272 watt hours so we're looking at this one right there so 272 watt hours i can't crank it anymore to get any more juice out so 
Uh, manufacturer's claim, guys, uh, 299 watt hours. So I have 4% left, but it's not usable. So could it go up to 299? No, no. Basically, it's that 4% is probably 280 if you could get it. But if you can't access it, then it's not it's not even. So, uh, guys, less than a little bit less than 30 uh, watt hours. Is that something that's important to you? Uh, personally, me, I'm a little bit disappointed. I wish I had a little bit more capacity. I've discharged and recharged this unit a few times now. And I have, you know, run this test on AC. AC, uh, you know, I calculated for the uh, for the loss, but the loss is, is uh, not that great. So the AC inverter has a pretty good efficiency but the capacity of the batteries uh, is not not as good guys so uh, what does that tell us uh, that tells us that they're probably using uh, less good quality cells in there so probably uh, great b cells so you guys can see that right there 99 uh, hours and four percent left so yeah guys uh, a little bit disappointed. I wish I had a little bit more capacity in there. I mean, you're paying for 299 watt hours, so it's still a good unit. I still like it. It still has a ton of features. But if I were Go Labs, I would overshoot. You never want to undercharge something. When you have a car, let's say you have a car that is rated for like 200 horsepower. And you run it on the dyno and on the dyno you're getting 250 or 220 horsepower you're getting more than the manufacturer claims that puts a smile on your face so same thing that jackery's doing jackery for some of their units are bumping up the the uh, rating so it go past what they're rated at so Go Lab should do the same thing. It's either adding a few more cells or getting some better quality cells. You add a few more cells, you bump up the price a little bit, maybe for those extra cells, you get, sell the cells to cost, you know, so the so that the customer can get the best out of it. So, and you don't you don't lose that much or you don't lose money. I mean, it's just. Uh, it's just something that you know you have to go the extra mile that's my that's my point you have to go the extra mile when you're doing something like this you want to impress the customer and right now according to my little tester uh there's there's not a lot of capacity in there so well not as much as as i wanted so there's still 30 watt hours so 30 watt hours would be charging your cell phone a few times would be would be a couple of you know extra charge that you could get out of this so uh guys uh it's just i wish i had a little bit more capacity uh, i wish that the claim of 299 watt hours were accurate but sadly it is not so what do you think about that guys is this something that would deter you from buying this unit you need to let me know because if you let me know then go lab is gonna know and they're gonna readjust and they, they're gonna make a version two they're gonna make a version three and so forth and they, they're gonna readjust it so the, the the capacity is actually uh, the rated capacity for these units so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this uh, little video so i wanted to run this test i bought this specifically the little uh, tester specifically to run these tests guys and from what i i showed you guys like I said, 4% left in, 4% left here, and this thing was fully charged. I just finished charging it uh, to full, and it was like literally like 20 minutes or something before I switched and, you know, run that test. So it was freshly charged, uh, and I had the, sat the battery cycle a few times to get the maximum capacity. So, yeah, 272 watt-hours, guys, so this is what you're getting with the Golabs R300. Still a good unit, a little bit less capacity than uh, advertised. Anyway, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. That's always appreciated. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.